some of the steps that we'll take start with a Google image search. Find a laptop, go to the Facebook page or Instagram account of whoever it is you're talking to, click and drag, or in some cases you have to actually like screenshot pictures, and then go to images.google.com. You can actually click from the desktop and drag it into the web browser and you'll see it sort of populates the search window. And that will search the internet for any public photos that match or are close to the picture you're looking at. Second thing you can do, a reverse phone search. Oh yeah. So if you're really invested in a relationship with this person and you need to know if they're telling you the truth, you can spend, I don't, some, sometimes it's, you can just do it for free. You can literally just take their phone number, put it into Google and do a search. Or you can go to these specific websites like um, whitepages.com or uh, People Smart. Sign up, put the phone number in, you can put their name in, you can put their email, whatever you have, their address, and it'll search and it'll show you who, if anyone, has that, had that phone number registered. Number three, take some time to scroll down their Facebook page. I know that seems obvious, but I am amazed how many times we've made the show, we've had someone tell us about this person they're in love with, and then we've gone to their Facebook page and just looked through it and seen things that they never noticed. Really? See, you have to do your homework. Before you yeah. call these guys, you have to do the deep digging yourself, and then you go to the experts for like the finishing touches on the piece exactly. of the puzzle. Go, you gotta do the deep dive right, yourself. Go to their about page. Not everyone uses this or fills it out, but sometimes they have info there. Maybe it's their school or work. If they've listed a place where they were formerly employed, call that place and just say, hey, I'm looking for James or Sarah, or did James or Sarah ever work there? And if they say yes, good news. If they say no, maybe not good news. All right, and if somebody thinks they're being catfished and wants to be on the show, how can they get in touch? Go to catfishcasting.com. And make sure to watch Catfish every Wednesday on MTV. It's got a new time. That's right, every Wednesday at 8 p.m. All right, well, thanks so much, Neve, for the tips. <laughs> and we will be watching you as always. And if you guys have a story and you want to be on Catfish, now you know what to do. So until next time, bye.